Hi there and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we'll be looking at the experiment 6 of the chemistry practical manual. And for this, we'll be looking at the determination of the molarity of unknown acids. Now, this one says you are provided with solutions of unknown acid labeled A and B. So you have two acids here, acid A and acid B. Carefully prepared out 20 to 25 milliliter of the standard base prepared in experiment 5 into a conical flask and titrate against each acid in the usual manner. Record your reading as below. So they give you a sample table here for you to record your reading, both for acid A and acid B. Now they said, assuming the molar the mole ratio of each acid to base is one is to one, calculate the molarities in both acids. So for this for this experiment here, I'm to calculate the molarity of acid A as well as the molarity of acid B. So how do I get that done? All right, so let me get to my own table. So after the experiment, I had these values. Please, if your values are not the same thing as mine, please do not change your value. Just follow my step-by-step -step process and then fill up using your own value, all right? It's possible that we'll have the same value and it's totally correct, okay? So just don't change your values. Just follow my step-by-step -step approach and fill up your own manual. All right, so how do we solve this? Um, going back to the question here, in the question we are asked to do what there? Assuming the mole ratio of each acid to base is 1 is to 1. So this should be actually 1 is to 1, not 1 dot 1. So what you should be having is actually 1 is to 1. That's what you should have. Calculate the molarities in both acids. All right, so we have to find molarity. So the first task is this. What exactly is molarity? Now, here's what to note. Note that molarity, so molarity is equal to the ratio of the number of moles to volume. This is like the shortest um, concept of getting this. All right. So molarity is simply ratio of moles to volume. All right. So moles is measured in the unit is MOL, while volume in this case majorly is in um, liters. All right. Volume majorly in this case is in liters. That's let's say capital L, liters. So for molarity, your SI unit is mole per liter or molar, right? Or molar. Uh, molar is a capital M. So molar is capital M. That's it. So if this is true, if this is true, that means that the number of moles from here, let's call molarity capital M is equal to, let's call the number of moles N all over Let's call volume V. So I have this. From this case here, if I'm to cross multiply, we want to make N to be subject of the formula. Cross multiply, I have N times 1 is equal to M times V. So N times 1 is equal to N. So I have that N times 1 is equal to M times V. So, okay, let me do it. So M times V. From here, it means that n times 1 is n is equal to m times v is <coughs> m times v is mv. So I have this. That means the number of moles is always equal to the product of the molarity times the volume and the volume. All right. All right. Product of the molarity and volume. All right. So if this is taken there, let's now look at something. Let's now look at this. Um, so from here, let's start with the first one. We said we, we asked to find the molarity of both acid acid A and acid B. Let's start with acid A. So first things first for acid. All right. So let's get the molarity of both acid A and acid B. So let's start with the first one. Molarity of acid A. So molarity of acid. Let's put it in bracket A. All right, so how do we get the molarity of acid A? So here's the formula you use. Now, if you look at this statement, let me show you this statement here. This statement says, assuming the mole ratio of acid to base. So I'm using the mole ratio of acid to base, and that means number of moles of the acid all over number of moles of the base. This is called um, the mole ratio of acid to base. So I have this. All right, so let me use this. This, what will I have? So back to this, that means for this, I will have that. Of course, uh, okay, so for this, I will have that the number of moles 
of the acid, which is the mole ratio, all over the number of moles of the base is equal to. Now we know that we know that number of moles is equal to molarity times volume. So for this case now, it will be equal to. For this case, for number of moles of acid, it becomes molarity of acid times volume of acid here all over for vb it becomes molarity of base times volume of base so i have this so my simple tax now is to just impute each of these values here now let's start with this from the question they said the molarity of acid to base is one is to one that means i'll have one here all over one all right so this is what that statement means when it says number of uh, the, the mole ratio of acid to base is 1 is to 1. So this is what it means, right? Acid to base is 1 is to 1. So that's equal to my next step here is to get the mole or the molarity of acid, which the value is unknown. So it becomes molarity of acid, whose value is unknown, multiplied by the volume of acid. So going back to my table, what's the volume of acid here? So the volume of the unknown acid for A, so you can see here is 14.2. So I'll come down here. Volume of acid under A is 14.2 into um, the number of moles of the base. I think it was given there. Let's go back to my table. Yeah, that's the molarity of the base, please. Molarity of the base, as you can see here, for under A is 0 0.1 molar. So I'll come here. Under MB, it becomes 0 0.1 molar times volume of the base. Going back to my table. What's the volume of the base under A? Volume of the base under A here is 25.0 milliliter. That gives me that gives me 25.0. I'm having 25.0 or 25, whichever one I have this. Alright, so I have this um, work here. Next up, I'll have to multiply through. Of course, from here, what you just simply do is a cross multiplication. So it becomes this one times this into this one times this. Alright, so I'm having ma times 14.2 multiplying 1 is equal to that becomes this times this that's 1 times 0 0.1 times 25.0 or 25 see the same thing so what do i have here from this i'm having if i multiply these two here this becomes 14.2 times the molarity of acid A is equal to if I multiply this, this should give me about zero. This should give me about zero point two five, or this should give me about two point five. So I'm having two point five here. So to get M A, I'll simply divide both sides by fourteen point two. So divide here by fourteen point two. Also divide here by fourteen point two. So from here, I'm having fourteen point two. Fourteen point two. So from here this cancels this it means that the molarity of acid a is equal to 2.5 divided by 14.2 in two decimal places i will have my value as 0 0.18 in two decimal places and of course the units for here will be mole per dm cube or molar so my answer is 0 0.18 molar so that's how you calculate the molarity of a Let's now get molarity for B. All right, let's get molarity for acid B. Uh, okay, let me write it close to the table. Mm, okay, so let me write it this way. All right. So molarity of, of acid B. Let's get molarity. Molarity of acid b all right so how do we get this one here the same formula we use the formula of the um more ratio of acid to base that's more ratio of acid all over more ratio of base is equal to um it's equal to what there for the first one because i'm that's equal to our formula is m a v a So that's equal to MAVA all over MB 
VB. Alright, so impute values. Of course, I said the molar ratio is 1 is to 1. So my 1 is to 1 still plays here. So I have 1 all over 1 is equal to molarity of the acid for B. Alright, the molarity of acid for B here. Um, let me call this molarity of acid for B is unknown. Into the volume of acid, this one here for, for B. For B here, you can see that the volume of unknown acid under B is 28.2. So bring this here as volume of acid here. 28.2. Okay. All divided by molarity of the base. So go back to my table. You can see that under B here, the molarity of the base under B is still 0 0.1. So I'll come here. MB is... 0 0.1 into VB volume of base from here the volume of base used here is about 25.0 so I'll come here VB I write 25.0 or simply 25 whichever one you choose to all right so I'm here my task is to find MA please MA means the molarity of the acid but is the molarity of the acid for acid B all right so don't confuse it please Right, so MA means molarity of the acid, but for this case now of acid B. All right, let's get MA in this case. For here, I'm having just cross multiply this times this. That gives you MA into 28.2 times 1 is equal to this and this. I'm having 1 times 0 0.1 into 25. Point zero. So I have this. All right. So solve this. What do I have there? So M eight times twenty eight point two gives you twenty eight point two M A is equal to multiply all of this one times zero point one times twenty five to give you about two point five in value. To get M A, I'll divide both sides by twenty eight point two. All right. To so divide both sides by twenty eight point two. So divide here by twenty eight point two. Divide here by 28.2. From here, this cancels this. I'll have that MA, that's the molarity of the acid B, will be equal to 2.5 all over 28.2. And that's about approximately 0 0.09. My unit is molar or mole per dm cube. So I have this. All right, so this is how we solve um, experiment six questions. So please, if you like this video, if you enjoyed this lesson, simply do us a favor. Please like the video, leave a comment, tell us if you enjoyed the video, and also tell us which other experiments you would want us to do. Also, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. All right. So this is how you can encourage us to keep producing more content like this. Okay. So thank you very much and see you in our next class. All right, so thank you very much and see you in our next class. Don't forget, please like the video, leave a comment, tell us if you enjoyed the video or not. Also, um, comment other um, experiments you also want us to work on. Please share this video to your friends, all right, to your friends um, in your department. And also please subscribe to this channel. That's how you can encourage us to keep producing contents like this. Thank you and see you in our next class.